What it do is your boy Jay Reed. So the Migos and Chris Brown fight at the BT Awards in 2017. Yes. Chris Breezy. Fist Breezy. The Breezy and the Migos. The trio. The three Musketeers was about to do it. Three of them went right here. When one jump in, all jump in. You know how it goes. So, yes, last, at the late night at the 2017 Big Tours went off mostly without a hint. But the after party was apparently a different story. Uh, the Migos and Chris Brown got into a confrontation after the star studded award show. According to Sea Breezy, had just finished performing a video for his future collab with Pi, but the action popped off. The action popped off. With the action popped off on. Witness said the Migos who took home the trophy for the best group at the award show. Breezy was talking into a venue near Los Angeles Microsoft Theater when a member of Breezy crew pushed. Quavo. From there, a member of the Migos entourage jumped into the action, but was immediately punished. From this part, Breezy perhaps wanted to avoid any more legal trouble. Apparently, kept it moving without being directly involved in the scuffle. So he sent a hit, man. He said, "Go shove that motherfucker. Go shove Quavo." God damn. Yes, they was fighting over Karuche Tran. Karuche Tran is a beautiful woman. Beautiful. She had a extensive love life. She's been with Victor Cruz, so on and so forth. But yes, they was fighting over a girl. Chris Brown is no stranger to fighting over a girl with Chris Brown and the epic Drake fight with bottles being thrown and the basketball player Tony Parker. I was almost goddamn cut out of his socket. And about to be blind because of this and could have lost in the NBA Finals and could have missed the rest of that season that year. But, yes, let's continue. The cops showed up, but Chris Breezy was able to leave the scene unharmed and the action already dissolved by the time they arrived. While the confrontation might seem granted, Mike, far from following been following Quavo, uh, rumor had a set with been uh with Caruche Tran. So yeah, they said Quavo and Caruche Tran had this love affair. It's been a love triangle. Yes, Chris Brown made songs talking about her. Caruche, yes, Chris Brown has made songs about her. Yes, yes, he even shot her name out. Caruche, yes, he made songs about her. Breezy asked girlfriend who recently hit the singer with the restraining order because of alleged abusive behavior. As soon as those Quavo Caruche rumors surfaced, people began speculating that Chris Breezy would have a problem with it. And considering Quavo was the first person to get pushed in this scuffle, maybe he does. Yes, they had a scuffle, a fight at the red carpet. They was battling. Yes, guys, they was battling, going at it. And as a matter of fact, Quavo, uh, Chris Brown and them had words on social media. Uh, said, come on, fam, stop playing with the mans and the uh, offset return. Memes ain't funny. Then Chris Breezy, Chris Bre Bre Breezy said, you little boy, you better worry about what you got going on and focus on you. All this capping this on IG was lame. Your energy won't like that. When I came to that Drake show in LA, if you don't get your hip, if you don't get your hippity hop, hippity, hippity, hippity hop, and you don't stop the rocking out my common sense. Just call me personally. You want some clout when all you got to do is pull up. No camera, no flexing and all that. And if you a real man, fight me. And Chris Brown knows about fights. He is a blood, allegedly, from Kaepernick, Virginia. He really with the shit. You hear me? Yes, he's really with the shits, goddamn. Breast Breezy is gang activity with it. Allegedly, I believe. Uh, what was the name of the song he cried out? Shout out Karuche. Yes, he shout out Karuche in the song, guys. Back to sleep, he even shouted her name out. Uh, on the remix. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he shouted her name out on the song, Karuche. Yes, he said, you want to say my name, Karuche? Yes, he shouted her out on the song, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, he did. Uh, back to sleep. That's what he was talking about. That song right there. Yes, yes, that was the song he was saying. They had this love affair going on. Breast breezy. And if you don't get his Earth and Wind Fire spacesuits wearing cap, little boy, out my comments. Yes, man, he was going at it. Yes, these guys been going at it right here. He said Chris Brown called Offset Pooty in the Pooty Tang. And he said, he tells them, Pootie Tang. Yes, they've been going at it. 
Yes, guys. Oh, man. He said, oh, boy. He said, oh, that's drip. Chris got 50 offset. Ten. Chris said, that, oh, that's drip. And posted a picture of him. Uh, this is supposedly supposed to be from the Boondocks. A cow with a purple suit, gold teeth, clown, and Quavo. He was just memeing the fuck out of this guy. Holy shit. He said, memes ain't funny, lame. Quavo tweeted, memes ain't funny. Yes, the back and forth. Oh, man. Yes, yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, they've been going at it. They've been going at it, guys. They've been having choice words for the longest. They was having these choice words. They've been going at it. Uh, they reportedly denied it. He talked about it in the song Back to Sleep. Uh, he even got them. Matter of fact, he even DM and said, where you at? He said, I'm in L.A. I'll be home at 4, like I said, and I'm with all that. You can run me my fade today, no cap. Offset was standing up for his brother, Quavo, the singer. Addy. Pussy nigga, you know why I stay. Google Maps, YouTube too. Google Maps, my address ain't no secret spot. I'll be there at folk police. Yes, yes, guys. They were sending this right here on the internet. Back and forth in the DMs, guys. Okay, okay. They sending back and forth in the DMs. Yes, man. He, you know she must be got some toxic, toxic, you know, goddamn. Woo, woo, she got that punani. Woo woo, Caruso must be a goddamn smash him back to sleep for him fighting over. He said they know not to ask for on that two on two basketball. I would have cooked Quavo and Jack on my soul. Guess they wanted to smoke free zone, and he wanted to play them in basketball too, guys. Yes, yes, Briz Breezy. Cokehead don't want it. Call him a cokehead. Don't want smoke. Ooh, call him a cokehead, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he's in the DMs right now. He said, police. Now, nah, that's all y'all police. Nah, po Quavo, I mean, take off. I mean, Offset said, police. Briz Breezy said, nah, that's all y'all police. Offset said, nah, coming to your house when I see you, you know what's up. Boy, you pussy as heck. Well, you too, too. You scared to fight, Chris Breezy said. Offset said, stop DM me this police right here, bro. Oh, man. Yes, yes, guys. Yes, yes. He said, he police, bro. He says, bro, police. He said he's playing police games. Yes, guys. Police game. He said he's playing police games right here. So, yes, they've been going at it. He said, fuck you being a power. I'm a grown man. You a little boy. Then he dropped his address, 1960 06 Tars and my address. Please, please up. I pray you come at 12. Boy, run my face. Stop acting. Left him on scene, Eddie. So them boys asking him to pull up. I'll be in LA at 4. Like I said before, I'm with all that. You can run me my face, no cap. Breezy shit. So, yes, guys. Yes. They was going at it. They been being very, 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 very disrespectful in these DMs, guys. This is very, very disrespectful. Uh, I don't even know coming back from this shit right here, man. Yeah, you know, this is very disrespectful right here. Uh, also, in this post, he said, fuck you, little boy. You better worry about what you got going on. And all this cap on his IG. And then he also said, suck you. He told him to suck my dick. Told him to suck my dick. Wow, this is totally disrespectful right here, guys. Yeah, this is totally, totally disrespectful. Yes, guys. Breezy, Breezy let it out the bag, man. All it out the bag, fam. Oh, Lee. Oh, Lee. Oh, my. Well, damn. He said all these memes and shit ain't funny when somebody going through some praying for my dog. Ain't shit funny. His family depending on him. Ooh. Oh, man. Yes, yes. Even got the fans talking about, I will let Chris Brown beat me up any day. These goddamn freak the week. Oh, yeah. He say, no op shit. Camera police, none of that shit. I'm just going to beat the fuck. I'm going to beat the fuck. I'm going to beat you up. 
And he dropped his address. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, guys, this is what happened. You know, they were about to fight all over some goofy shit. But I only see black people fighting. I don't see white people DMing each other on live, fighting each other at award show. I don't see rock stars, country singers, R&B singers, gospel singers doing this shit. It's always niggas doing nigga ass shit. I swear to you, got these niggas are the new KKK. You got to protect yourself from these niggas. Niggas, guys. These motherfucking niggas. Gotta protect yourself from these niggas, guys. The niggas are the problem. Yes, guys. Gotta protect yourself from these niggas, guys. Yes. This is what you have to do. Uh, This is what you have to do, man. They, Caruso and Chris Brown were dating on in Austin 2011, guys. When he was with me. He was with Rihanna at the time while dating Caruso. While they was going through that. Disaster right there. That toxic relationship. He is singing from the rooftop. I want Caruso Trammy. Boy, Caruso put him on him, man. Yes. He said, now, where you been? It's been a year. I mean, he's saying, which also. said, baby, I ain't see you. You know I miss you. Baby, let me love you back to sleep once more. And I know we don't speak no more. He said, but I just want to tell you, I'm sorry. For fucking around with Keisha and Makila for all the Georgia pieces in Decatur and for all these bitches in the elevator. I just want you to love me. Yeah, baby, don't rest with me. You know I do it. And as if there's any doubt who's talking about, round ends his verse with a direct shout out to Tran. You know, you want me to say your name, girl? Okay, Karuche! Yes, 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 yes. Uh, They call it a quit. Uh, he actually had a one year old child with. Or he had a with one of your child with his side bitch, Royalty Brown with Nia Gunmez, and they was dating on and off since 2011. So Rick Breezy had the bitches. So this why Trey had a direct night respond. Oh yeah, so she hasn't responded that to this day. Yes, guys, they had this love triangle, this love right hexagon or or you know right you know triangle hexagon. You know, square, whatever you want to call it. You know, they had a whole lot going on, man, with this little train. But if y'all like the video, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all tap in. I'm out of here.